Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about denial of service attacks which is also known as DOS attacks. So these are the attacks which bring the system in an unavailable state. Unavailable state means we have designed a system to provide the services to the users but because of that attack that system will be unavailable to provide the required services to the clients. Now, for example, in this case, let's suppose that we have this system and we have this actually HTTP server. This HTTP server is hosting a web page. And when this client sends a request for those contents of, or for that web page, so the server will respond back with the requested contents. Now, for sending this data or the requested contents, this client and the server they have to establish a tcp connection and that requires three-way handshake and this three-way handshake this client sends a sync message and in response to that sync message this server will send an acknowledgement plus sync message and that sync message will have actually the initial sequence number from the server and finally this server will send an acknowledgement back to the server and only after these three-way handshake, this server will actually send the requested contents. So it means for every data transfer, we need to go through this three-way handshake to establish a TCP connection. Now let's suppose that this is a user A. This user A sends a sync message to the server. So this, this is for instance, the server and sends a sync message, but in the packet, which is carrying the sync message in the packet they have to mention the destination IP address and the source IP address so the destination will of course be this server machine but in the source IP address let's suppose that this user is not using its own IP address but it may use the IP address of this client or this user that's user C now when the server receives that packet so the server will send back an acknowledgement plus initial sequence number but that server this time in response to that request it will send that acknowledgement and plus initial sequence number to the user C because it assumes that request came from user C but now just remove it but now this user C will not respond because it never requested for any connection now what happens at the server end the server reserves some resources for the for this to be established connection so what happens this is some information it will save in its memory that i'm waiting for the acknowledgement from the user who just requested for some contents but now the c as you saw that c user c will not respond back and it this server will be waiting for the acknowledgement so next time let's suppose that the same user is using this um, source IP address of the next user and it sends a sync message to the server and the server will send back acknowledgement and the sync message to this user and same this user will not respond back or this user will not send an acknowledgement but the server will reserve some of its resources and will be waiting for the acknowledgement from the client in the same way maybe user can send another sync message another sync message and a point will come when this uh, where this server might have used all of its resources and the server will not have more resources to entertain the request from some legitimate users as well for example this is the legitimate user and sends a request to the server but as the server has used all of its resources server has come to a state where it will just deny for any of the services requested by the client so we call this as a denial of service attack because the system is not responding even to the legitimate users and this attack has been uh, has been so denial of service attack has been created uh, by using a, uh, a buffer flow so at this time the, it has got out of its memory so that's buffer so this attack is also known as buffer overflow attack and this is also known as maybe sync flooding attack so using sync one so the purpose is just the uh, 
a denial of service from the system. Now simple variation of that is the distributed denial of service and that is a, that uses the same idea but now the hackers or the bad guys are not on a single computer but at this time this bad guy will find out some other guys it will make its team and now this will act as a master and these other users will be called as bots B-O-T-S, so we say it ports. Now this master attacker will train those bots and then after training, this master will instruct these all bots to send those kind of sync messages to the server. So you see now they all will send the sync messages and out uh, because of those sync messages, the, the server will again occupy some of its resources and a point will come that all of its resources will be occupied because of these botnets and so because of this bad guy and now after that point and onward if any legitimate user is going to make a request for some uh, web page or anything the server will not be able to respond back so that will be uh, in the unavailable state because of this denial of service attack a distributed denial of service at this time because these all nodes which are sending these messages sync messages or maybe ping requests they are, are distributed. So with this discussion, uh, this is the end of this video and I hope this uh, uh, discussion was a bit helpful for you and hope to see you in some other, other video on some security attacks.